Hello everyone and welcome to the School Tool Google Classroom Integration Overview. We will be going over two new features today, one being the Raster Sync and the second being the Assignment Grade Import. Please keep in mind that if you do not see the rostering permissions within your School Tool screens, your district may be utilizing another platform for a similar result. So let's begin. First, we're going to talk about the rostering sync. So if you have these permissions, what's going to happen is when we go into your classes and we click on your roster, you're now going to be able to push your current school tool roster out into your Google Classroom to one, create that course out there, and two, to push your students out. So all we have to do is up in the top right corner, the big G, if you hover over it, it says sync with Google Classroom. We're gonna go ahead and click that. We're gonna select create a new classroom out in Google and click sync. What this does is it initiates your credentials within school tool out with your Google Classroom credentials. And it's gonna push your information once it links. So our search results say we had one student who failed. So once this information is updated for Victoria, we can go ahead and we can sync again and it should push her information out there in the future. All right, that's as simple as it is on the school tool side for option one. Once you've done your initial sync through school tool, if you log into your Google Classroom, you'll notice that now my business math course has been created. If I go ahead and enter that classroom, you'll notice if I come up to the people tab that my current roster has been synced. Now you'll remember from the example that there was one user that was unable to be uh, synced up with the system. Once those, those user issues get corrected and we do a resync through school tool, those users that didn't appear will appear the next time that you log in. So in order for our grades to register back to school tool, one thing we have to be aware of is if I come under my classwork tab and I'm grading student work. So in this case, if I come under assignment three, I see one of my students has turned it in. I can open up my assignment. I can open it up and I can review it. I'm gonna close out all the tabs here. Um, I can assign their grade over here, but the one thing that we have to make sure that we do, and I'm just going to give them an 85, is that we have to be sure to return it to our students. Once it's returned and we initiate that return and the grade actually submits itself to Google Classroom, then it will be available for sync with school tool. Uh, if you give them a grade and don't return the assignment, um, when you do do the sync, it will not sync back and forth. So another example really quick, if I jump out to my quiz here and if I go into my quiz and in this case if I just give them the score right here click on my ellipses and hit return I can send them a comment and I can return it there so I can either do it directly from the assignment or from the student work tab here. But once that's done, when I do my school tool sync, those grades now should import directly into school tool. So our gradebook has been set up and we're ready to import our assignments and grades from Google Classroom back into school tool. There's a couple steps we need to do. First, we're gonna go back into our gradebook editor screen and we're gonna click the big G to the right of that dropdown. What it's gonna do is it's going to prompt us into our import screen. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna make sure that our Google Classroom is set to the correct course. If it's not, then we may need to go back into our roster, unsync and resync to the correct Google Classroom. So if this is accurate, the next step is we're gonna pre-select which, which date range from Google Classroom we wanna import assignments from. So if we leave it from 410 to 731 and we click search, it's gonna pull us all of those assignments that have been created within that day range. The next thing is overwrite scores defaults to being on. So what that means is you, if you have previously imported any assignments from Google Classroom into School Tool, if we select them below, it's going to overwrite any and all grades that were previously imported. Useful if 
say we regraded an assignment, um, the scores weren't great on an assignment, so we reassigned it and everyone had an opportunity to redo it, we can go ahead and re-import. So for these purposes, we're gonna uncheck and we're gonna check the two assignments from Google Classroom that we have scores in. So we have quiz one and assignment three. The max score pulls from what the max score within Google Classroom is. So right now they're both set to 100. The date is also pulled from the date attached to that Google Classroom assignment. So if we wanna go ahead and change this to the date that we import or maybe the date that we wanted to actually count in school tool. So maybe in Google Classroom, you add the date that it's due, but in school tool, we want it the date that it's assigned or vice versa. We can adjust those dates accordingly. Marking period, it's gonna to default to the marking period that today falls in. So today on our calendar falls in marking period four. If quiz one was to be calculated into marking period three, we can go ahead and make that change. Our category currently defaults to the first one in the dropdown. So quiz one was actually a test, so I'm gonna go ahead and change that. And assignment three, we're gonna do as homework. So once we've made all of our pre-selections, we're gonna click import. We get our confirmation, assignments successfully imported for two assignments. Quiz one, we had one student scored. And assignment three, we have one student scored. So we're gonna go ahead and click done. Now you'll see the assignments have been generated and created within your gradebook, and we have grades in there. So going forward, if we entered these remaining grades within your Google Classroom, we can go ahead and we can re-import by clicking the G, reselecting those assignments, unchecking the overwrite grades, click import and it'll fill any student that currently doesn't have a grade within your school tool gradebook with any information that is retained within your Google Classroom gradebook. So again, the import is just that easy. If you run into any questions or concerns, please reach out to us at the RIC.